All right. So I got interrupted while I was trying to do your past life reading, Pisces. Um, this is a past life reading. So I do these readings on a personal level. Uh, I'm going to give you an example of them in case you're interested in maybe getting a, a reading, a past life reading. Um, please remember to take only what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, so first thing I'm getting here is imprisonment or slavery. This was due to somebody's spiritual gift. They were put in bondage because of their spiritual gift. That happened a lot in the room. Let's see. Let's see what time this is cuz it's it's not giving me a time frame yet. I can't make it up, guys. This is Roman times. Perhaps they were sent into the dungeons to, and I'm getting that, um, this could be masculine. Lessons and blessings, angels ships so somebody was oh somebody was got something on my finger there was sold into slavery in Greco-Roman times so there's forgiveness here that needs to happen. Lesson and blessings. There's some kind of a clearing here that's happening uh, from past life for someone. They were imprisoned or enslaved for their faith or for their uh, spiritual abilities is what I'm, what I'm feeling. Somebody wanted to get rid of them and get rid of them fast. Maybe they couldn't. I feel like they couldn't extinguish this person. I'm not going to say the other word. Due to their own faith, which they knew they would be. Uh, They knew they would be cursed or something like that if they killed this, if they extinguished this person. So they couldn't do, they couldn't do that. So instead, they sent them away on some kind of ship. Maybe it was somebody that they loved. Somebody they were jealous of and obsessed with. Perhaps they thought it was a woman or a man who had cast some kind of spell on them. And that's why they sent them away. They couldn't take them. They just sent them away because they had no idea Deal what they were doing. What is this ship's about? What is this ship's about? Oh, so they might have sent them to the Americas. Rome's in Italy. Ten of Wands. Some, they, they, they just wanted to get rid of, get rid of the problem. 
Leo energy. Wash their hands of it. There was an obsession here, though. I feel like whoever was sent away or whoever was sold into bondage they had to work off their I don't know if this is a debt or not guys unless I'm one on one with you I don't know exact traits this is why I don't usually do these because it's it's kind of hard to pull the story out completely without somebody to aim it at all right so i do feel like this person found out later that it wasn't the right thing to do perhaps it was a jealous wife who was cold and cut off and just wanted to get rid of somebody Four of Wands, Seven of Swords, yeah. Somebody somebody wanted to get rid of somebody, so and, and I do feel like there's a class here. Like like somebody was like of the upper class and somebody wasn't. And the one that wasn't maybe um a husband fell in love with them. And the one that was the upper class found out about it, was jealous so got rid of the other person and sent them away on a ship to work like I don't know what that is guys like I said it's hard to do these without a person involved so let's see where it goes what is this Knight of Swords and this Five of Cups about? I will do a regular reading after this. I'm just giving you all an example of something else I do. Yeah, here's the wife. Here's the marriage. And there's the star. Possibly this person worked in the home of the husband and the wife. And I feel like the wife found out or the husband found out and they sent them away. They sent them into a bondage of some kind. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. They were trying to protect their family. from this other person. They carried the bur they've been carrying the burden for a very very long time. This is lineage stuff. This is this is this is stuff that that kind of needs to be cleared out now in the now time so it can be released. Nine of Cups, Five of Swords, and somebody is seriously fighting the truth here. Stalker energy, Wheel of Fortune. Like I said, somebody was rich and somebody wasn't so rich, and whoever wasn't so rich here was the one that got put away or Put out. What is the Nine of Cups about, Spirit? What is the Nine of Cups about? This wish being granted. A risky, brand new beginning. Six of Swords. There's the ship. There's the travel. There's the tower. And there's somebody trying to get away from, get away with something. And judgment is here. 
So, whoever this person was is under heavy judgment now. And they don't understand why things are not going the way that they want them to. So, this this is this is leading to a whole new paradigm, to a whole new beginning. So, whoever this is, message. Okay, it was a lover sent on a new pathway? Perhaps it was like um, the situation at Martha's, Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> I'm just giving you an example in the now time. So perhaps this was somebody who worked in the home who may have been an immigrant or something like that. And because the husband or wife fell in love with them, they were sent away out of jealousy. Which other deck do I want? Okay. Let's see what this Queen of Pentacles and this Hierophant's about. Like I said, they, somebody had, had gifts here. Some kind of spiritual gifts. Yep. And that is... They were being watched at every turn. And whoever this person was... It's like they waited. They waited for the right time to get rid of this person. Okay? They waited for the right time to get rid of this person, like possibly when the other person may have been gone or something like that where they didn't know what was happening. And now we have the hanged man. So somebody is, is stuck in limbo because of this. Because they don't know, they don't understand that this is what happened. But it's changing. There's something changing here in the energy. I, I do feel like this Queen of Swords, who's very, very cold. And this could be because... Okay. So, the Queen of Swords could be very cold and cut off. Because they don't believe in love anymore because of what what had transpired in this past life. This is what is being brought to the surface and needing to be healed. So it can transform into something. And somebody can learn how to come out of isolation, which I, I'm feeling like that's what this, this led to, was somebody feeling like they had to isolate themselves from relationships, from, from other people, from loving other people. So they, they're very detached because they've been betrayed lifetime after lifetime. This, this person has definitely experienced one, more than one betrayal. And this was like the, the straw that broke the camel's back. So, Whoever this person is, there's the boat again. Self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship and love bombing. So, abundance, positive mindset, keeping manifesting exactly what you want. Okay, so this is the advice. Being lighthearted and finding out, receiving what you need and moving on, not dealing with hurt, and paradise. So, I do feel like whoever this is, they do need to address this past life 
so they can move forward and deal with the hurt. I mean, whoever, whoever this is, they need to, they need to stop being so cold and be more positive so they can go to the next level and receive what they need. But it's like somebody's avoiding that. They're, they're avoiding having to go back and re relive this. Go back and try to heal this. And, and, and stopping the growth on whatever this is. It's stopping growth in somebody's life because they're too cold to see what is truly happening here. Uh, which one did I have for that one? Oh, yeah. The Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. So let's get some advice on this. Like I said, I don't know if anybody will resonate with these readings or not. They're just an example of what else I do. The Hawk Prince... And the high lord of gratitude and service selflessness humility and conscious action spirit spiritual communication and paying attention in reverse so this is somebody not paying attention to their higher self So, in reverse is a challenger. It says, the Hawk Prince challenges you to pay attention and listen to the warnings being sent your way. Are you pushing forward in spite of others cautioning about the direction you're heading? Are you refusing to listen to your own inner voice? Red flags are waving in the breeze and you're being challenged to heed them, heed their messages. When the Hawk Prince descends as your challenger, it's an indication that something isn't quite right. Don't worry, though. He always arrives just in time for you to let go of your old ideas and begin again. Spirit only wants what's best for you. The High Lady of Gratitude and Service. And this came in as, a, as an ally. So this is a high lord of gratitude and service has arrived to help you find your true purpose today. Feeling gratitude for each moment you experience and loving what is and what has been will, will remind you that every breath you take holds a deep and profound awareness through small actions and selfless service to another. You're automatically placed upon your highest path, whether you're immediately aware of it or not. The presence of this ally lets you know that you're on the correct path to fulfilling your desires. You all, you're also notified that your actions of service and, a, and attitude of gratitude will yield riches beyond your wildest dreams, as long as those riches aren't the goal you have in mind. Giving service with no thought of return is what's required of you today. This would also be a good time to write a list remembering yourself of all the things in your life and the world around you that you have to be grateful for. If your question refers to a relationship, let gratitude be your guide. Be thankful for all you learn from this person. Truly, there are no friends and no enemies just teachers along life's journey. 
Be grateful for the laughter and even the tears. Attitude of gratitude is a magnet for true love in all forms. So, like I said, this is stopping somebody from having relationships because of a past life that wasn't fulfilled, that was kind of stolen from somebody, if you want to look at it that way. Um, and, and, and this is what kind of needs to be healed in this situation in order for somebody to move forward and have this paradise that they want. Avoiding it will not make it better. It needs to be healed. All right, my baby sharks. Those are your messages for this past life reading. Um, like I said, this is just an example of something else I do in case you're interested. Uh, you don't have to like to share, you don't have to like or, or share this. Uh, like I said, it's more of an example than anything. I have no idea who this reading is for. I'm just throwing it out there to give you all another idea of what I do. Okay? Well, that's it for now, baby sharks. I will do a regular reading after this. It will be up in a few minutes, and I will see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.